All right, Aquarius. Let's see what messages we have for the sign of Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what messages we got for you guys for the solar eclipse. Sorry, I'm getting these out kind of late. Let's see what messages we got for you. We're in the solar eclipse, new moon, and Libra. What is the message for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Aquarius. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading. Spirit, you already know how we roll. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So look at this, Aquarius, bust now with your own energy, the star card. Two of Wands. Some of you guys may have a choice to make. This could be something pertaining to, I don't know, something that you've been wishing for, hoping for. Um, oh, the Knight of Cups. All right, let me get a couple more before I talk about this. Let's get three more. What's going on with Aquarius? <clears throat> what is going on with Aquarius? Huh? Some of you, too, could be contemplating going towards somebody and expressing your emotions to this person. Um, but with the star card here, I feel like you guys are hopeful. Four of wands. Four of wands. Wow. So this could be that twin flame energy, that stability, that home, that family. Um, I also got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy showing up. What else? What's going on with Aquarius? What? Six of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys are, I don't know, thinking about moving. Some of you guys could be even relocating, moving your home, uh, moving into a home, moving out of a home. Hmm. Full cards, starting over, starting something new. Six of coins on the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So you got Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy showing up. I don't know, Aquarius, do you have a choice between two here? The way the cards are laying, this isn't going to be for everybody, but someone here could even be thinking about moving away or moving. I don't know. I don't know if you're thinking about moving away from family or marriage. That's not for all of you. Starting over, starting something new. Um, okay. Some of you guys are just literally thinking about like geographically moving, relocating with your family or um, uprooting your whole home. Because I do see, you know, a child here. It's going to say... Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Show me why the star is here for Aquarius. Why is the star here? And with this two of wands, it's like, you guys can see, it's like he's contemplating. It's not like traditional tarot where he has his hand on one wand. He's making a decision. This is like you have a choice here. And you're standing behind this choice, like looking off into the distance, maybe contemplating, thinking, um, <clears throat> whatever this is, this looks like wish fulfillment may have to do with, you know, coming in and offering something, expressing some type of emotions, moving something forward, progressing something, starting something new, taking a risk here. All right, show me the star, please. Why is the star showing up for Aquarius? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys are getting some type of wish fulfillment. This could be something tangible, a house, a car, uh, you know, um, something here. This is a golden opportunity, a wish fulfillment, a wish being granted. Seven of Cups. Some of you guys may have more than one option here. Or even, again, not procrastination type energy. You guys may be looking at these options, evaluating these options. 
with the page. Oh, that's not the page of swords. I just seen the page of swords. I swear. Okay, page of swords. <laughs> All right. Tell me more about the star card. The hermit reverse. So coming out of isolation. Um, six of wands. Moving towards some type of success here. We read for Aquarius. Strong Virgo energy. Again, that contemplation energy, I feel like you guys were contemplating something or you have been evaluating something, maybe even procrastinating something. Um, or maybe a little bit up in the air about what you should take, but I feel like you're feeling... Some of you guys, too, could be getting some type of public recognition or public exposure. The star card, everyone sees the stars. The hermit reverse is coming out up out of that. The six of wands is also public exposure. Am I tapping into someone here who may be moving for some type of job? This is a specific message. Someone here could be like getting into like showbiz or like getting ex getting their uh, getting recognized by someone or something or receiving an offer here that I feel like you're contemplating or you're evaluating. That could be why you're moving on or moving away or you're deciding to travel or something to that nature. Show me the two of wands, the high priestess, the ten of wands. Yeah, you guys are searching your intuition here, Pisces energy. You may be feeling a little bit stressed out or burdened by whatever choice it is that you have to make, or you may feel like something here is a lot of work. Tell me more about this, this choice. The Two of Swords, yeah, and I feel like you could be a little bit indecisive and you're trying to search your intuition. It's like you're trying to, whoever you are, you're trying to figure, you're trying to evaluate something here. Knight of Cups. Show me the Knight of Cups, please, or Aquarius. Show me the Knight of Cups. Queen of Swords and the Justice card. Some of you guys want to speak your truth or bring balance to a situation or you're trying to find like the right words to say but also get your point across. Or whoever's coming towards you or you're going towards someone's trying to. Show me this Knight of Cups, please. Show me the Knight of Cups. Single cards, please, Spirit. Magician. Some of you guys, this has to do with like a manifestation, Virgo, Gemini energy. Um, or you've put a lot of work into this or you're working on. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, like manifesting some type of wish fulfillment, taking action towards some type of wish fulfillment here, or someone's coming towards you. You've created some type of happiness or, or something here has to do with a talent, a skill. Um, confidence, being fearless. It's like someone who knows who, who they are and what they bring to the table. Show me the four of wands. Someone here may also be trying to go, uh, trying to go towards, I don't know if you're doing this or someone else is doing this towards you, but someone here is trying to like come in and express something, trying to manifest something, or someone's trying to like, Someone's trying to obtain something that they want, something that they're passionate about, something that I don't know if this is a skill or this is a person. Someone here may be very, very attracted to this Queen of Wands. This could be your wish fulfillment. Maybe you're attracted to a fire sign um, and you're trying to manifest this person or manifest a conversation or how can you come in and like flatter somebody or that's what they're trying to do with you. Show me the four of wands. 
if it is a person. Or this has to do with something that you're skilled at, something that you love, something that you desire, something that you're good at. Jump in this Four of Wands, the Ace of Swords, Clarity, Truth, Revelation, King of Pentacles. I did see the Queen of Pentacles too. So some of you guys could be speaking with somebody. This could be somebody who um, is has some type of status or wealth. Um, or you're speaking with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or father figure or... Some of you guys, this could be pertaining to like a home loan, a financial person, a financial advisor. Some, some, for some of you too, if this is like relationship shit, this could be like having a conversation about commitment, you know? Or this has to do with just home, stability, security. Trying to have some type of a breakthrough conversation. Okay. A world can talk about success, travel, achievements. Closing out cycles, starting brand new cycles. There goes the hair font on the bottom. Some type of a commitment here. Or a contract. Contract for a home. Maybe you guys are signing for something. Whoops. You guys could be signing for something. This could be something at a distance. Maybe you're talking to someone on the World Wide Web, over the internet, over the airways. Six of Swords. You may have to travel for something here. Why is it Six of Swords here for Aquarius? Why is the Six of Swords? I don't know if I want to take that, but Three of Swords, Three of Cups. Some of you guys are moving on from anything that, you know, types of heartbreak, disappointment, and moving into a celebratory energy. All right, single cards, please. Why is the Six of Swords here? All right, Six of Swords. Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups coming out kind of reversed. One more, please. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is moving on, progressing, healing some type of a transition the nine of swords can be communication coming in going out quick arrival quick departure um let me see what this knight of cups is coming out all cockeyed who says that apparently i just did okay the five of cups so some of you guys are moving on from some type of disappointment like i already said um Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to see if I can see this in any other way. The Knight of Cups kind of coming in the reverse can be like a love bomber, a one night stand, flighty. Um, not compassionate and the Five of Cups. You know, there could be someone here who regrets being that way with you. And they want to come rushing towards you, but it's because you're moving away. It's like Aquarius moving away and here comes this knight. Someone who was, you know, either unapologetic, didn't handle you correctly or whatever. They're coming in with some type of regrets. But even then, I don't feel like their their offer or their, I don't feel like they're being completely genuine. And I don't know who this is, but it's like you're trying to go this way and then there's this energy coming towards you. And whoever this energy coming in towards you, they're a knight. Someone who has some type of regrets or someone who's coming in feeling disappointed. Because you're having some type of a new beginning in life. Show me this full card, please.
Show me this Fool card. It's two cards. Six of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys, you're moving on. That could be the Six of Coins over here, too. I feel like you guys are... There's someone coming in who... This is someone from your past who could have breadcrumbed you. This person may even need your help now. Show me the fool. Don't be no fool. Don't be no fool, Aquarius. I know you're not. You little smart shits. All right, Aquarius. Three of Cups. Yeah, some type of new beginning here where you're feeling celebrated. Ace of Wands, exactly. Brand new... This is like some type of new exciting endeavor where you can feel celebrated. This is a brand new beginning. I see you taking this risk and going towards whatever this is. So, ooh, Ten of Swords. Okay. I don't know if someone feels betrayed by this or... Someone trying to stop you, create some type of an ending for you. What's this Ten of Swords out here? Oh, four of Cubs. This is someone who feels like you may be rejecting this person. I don't think you're going, you're not, whatever this person's coming in to offer, you're not accepting it. This is possibly somebody who hurt you in the past. This has been like a theme with these readings that I've been doing for the solar eclipse is like people aren't dealing with people that have already showed their colors. It's like, all right, you know, a lot of these readings have been like that. People are moving on to bigger and better things. That's that eclipse energy. I'm trying to tell you that eclipse energy. It's like, you know, out with the old and with the new. Definitely starting new beginnings, progressing, moving forward. Blocking anything out that causes you any stress. You're ignoring it. Using your intuition. But people are trying it like it's fucking Mercury or retrograde up in this beach or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. Someone here feels disappointed or they feel like regret. They feel like they missed an opportunity. This person, this is whack. This person may even feel betrayed because you're moving forward. You're moving on. But they're still not even coming in sincere. They may be coming in uh, with some type of regrets. But with this Three of Cups, it's like they're, I mean, with this Five of Cups, they're still looking at this Five of Cups, not seeing the Two of Cups. So it's like they're crying over what was lost. And it's this th Three of Cups. It's not the Two of Cups. You should be crying over this shit. I don't know. But uh, anyway. I don't know who this is in your life. Major Arcana we have out here. We got Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries. Could be any sign, really. But you got Earth, Fire, Water, Air. Yeah, it could be any sign. Um, All right, so let's see. Let's get three cards. What else does Aquarius need to hear? What do they need to... Three cards. What do they need to know at this time? You've got adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Challenge accepted. Okay. Two cards I'm not going to take. I get one more. You got empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation and pride. I love myself and see myself in everyone. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you're you're moving on with your head held high. That's that six of wands, six of swords. You're moving on with your head held high. It's like you're not 
moving on, feeling some type of way. Someone's coming towards you feeling that way. I feel like you're excited about whatever it is this wish fulfillment is that you're manifesting. Some of you too may even have an online platform or you may do something in the spiritual arts. There could even be someone else here. It could be a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. But someone here could be confused as to like how you're getting, how you're obtaining something. How you're obtaining some type of wish fulfillment. But this is someone who's like, they're not wise. <laughs> they're not wise themselves. They're in some type of an illusion or. Okay. Let's get a card from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. Close this reading out. What is the most important message for the sign of Aquarius at this time? What is the most important message, really? So you guys got Enlightenment, Forest Temple. That card came out super quick, but 19. Let's read. All right, Enlightenment, Aquarius. Meditate on the light within you and around you. Connect with the ever-present energy of the divine. Right now, your awareness is increasing. Your ability to understand the world is shifting. More and more, you can see situations from all points of view, and this creates an expansion in all parts of your life. This card can also reflect times when you are seeing the world from only your personal point of consciousness, which is dramatically restricting possibilities for you. A one-sided abdomen view of life can block the vast influx of light, joy, and the connection to the creator. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding your life. Be willing to step outside your limited points of view to see the world from others' perspectives and your life will expand. In temples throughout the world, initiates withdrew from their surroundings in order to gain an expanded perception of the inner reality of life. Intuition and healing abilities emerge through these times. Light is flooding into your life now. With enlightenment, you will feel the expansion from the limited sense of self and awareness to the cosmos around you. The spirit of the forest temple says, positive changes are coming. You are lightening up. Feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about who you are and what you deserve in life are falling away, replaced with incredible new paths. Wow, and that's, I was picking up some of that energy. So that's, that's um, I love this deck. Yeah, you're starting to see something. Some of you guys could even be moving away from family or moving away from a hometown or, um, you know, deciding to take some type of opportunity with clarity. Some of you guys, this is travel for business. This is some type of a breakthrough and you're like, I got to go. And then you got someone over here who's trying to stop you. It looks like like they don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to to take this. They don't want you to. Yeah, forget them. I'm not talking about them. But anyways, there is an your two first two cards out here was the Ace of Pentacles and the Star card. There's some type of wish fulfillment coming in and you better you better jump on it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And you have abundance underneath here and purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Abundance. You are here to. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And then you got grief. Someone here is sad because it's like you've you've woken. I don't even know if I would say that, but it's like you're you're on your path. Yeah, the second card was two of wands. That literally talks about pathway, pathway to success. Go ahead, Aquarius. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. I hope it gave you clarity. If it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.